and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Project. I'm Psycho again with you today, and in this one, we're going to be reviewing um, the third installment of Saints Row, oh, Saints Row the Third. Um, you guessed it correctly. So, um, let's just get onto it. Um, we're gonna we're gonna break this this thing down into uh, bits and pieces, kind of. Um, as you know, Saints Row is kind of, oh, well, kind of. Now that would be saying too much. Uh, kind of a Grand Theft Auto game, but um, I'd more call it. Um, I'd call it more like a pretty much adult theme park in which you can do pretty much anything. Um, the game is not to be taken too seriously. That's how the developers meant it, because um, throughout the game you can do a shit ton of stuff. Um, a shit ton of bizarre stuff and some, oh, some <laughs> rarely normal stuff. Um, it's kind of a parody on everything you can do um, in open world games. You can actually go to a pixelated world, ride tanks, do pretty much anything, get a dubstep gun in this one if I'm not mistaken, um, and a hell of a lot more stuff to do. But um, one thing I really loved about this game that it is not repetitive. Um, you're gonna go, well, at least how I played it, it was pretty much um, amazing. I never really got bored of it. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do even when not doing missions. You can gain money, you can gain respect to upgrade your character, get new stuff, buy new, buy new um, places and everything. Um, pretty much the whole setting throughout the game is that there are gangs in the city um, against which you have to compete for territory and um, get the whole territory for yourself. Um, so yeah, as far as the graphics and everything go, um, it's pretty light on the eyes. I was, I was actually really surprised um, because I was expecting more shininess, more explosions, more everything. But well, it does deliver um, up to up to a point um, where it is not too flashy, too explosive, too shiny, and everything. Um, so that, that I really loved. It was made really, really great. Um, as far as the story goes, I've already told it. Um, going against gangs and everything to, um, to kind of get the whole territory for yourself. Um, so to make a quick recap of everything, um, as we know, a responsibility pretty much of a video game is to bring the player fun. And that is everything that this game delivers. A lot of fun, a lot of kind of story, and a lot of things you can do which don't repeat themselves uh, throughout the whole game, so it was amazing. Um, there are a lot of new weapons, a lot of everything that you can do to kind of um, juice up your story and the powers themselves um, give you that extra boost that you want uh, throughout the the whole gameplay um, to uh, not to make it boring and repetitive but uh, keep it interesting throughout the the whole game um, so yeah that's pretty much gonna be all from my side for this one I hope you enjoyed it um, in the meantime don't forget to like and subscribe comment on the videos and I'll be joining you guys in the next review